One evening a couple of weeks back, I bought this huge slab of Tasmanian blackwood from a local timber yard here in New Zealand. Yep. I'm going to use it as a kitchen countertop in our bus. The first thing I did was cut it to size and plan out where I wanted the sink to go. It's a bit of a stormy day today. I think we're gonna have a lot of wind and rain, but that's okay because I'm tucked up in the container. I'm just putting or trying to put this sink and get it cut into this huge chunk of wood. Sometimes you ever get that feeling where you think I've bitten off more than I can chew here. Definitely feeling it with this. I could have gone with something a lot more simple. I think the end result will be worth it or we'll have a really nice looking bench and at some point I'll think like, oh, it was worth the effort. a bit of messing about but that looks okay that is amazing not used that before really does an incredible job absolutely flawless all the way along there Really nice. Man, it was windy last night. I built this a few months back for, for the post and uh, it's pretty solid, it's pretty thick, but the wind would have been so strong that it's lifted that up and then pushed it hard enough to rip the screws out of the back of it. I mean partly they ripped out because this was getting wet so the ply here you can see is all delaminated. I should have painted this surface and I never did out of laziness really. So before I do anything else today I'm gonna sort this problem out. So while the glue's drying on the post box, I think I'm going to put an edge on this. I'm just having a play around with a couple of profiles. I'm just trying to get rid of that sharp edge on the wood. But I don't really want a big round over, so I'm just trying to make it as small as possible. So I've played around with a couple of bits and I think I've got the, the look that I want. It's only a tiny little detail, but it's the kind of thing that I, I get obsessed about. I'm so happy with this, it looks awesome. It's funny these little details that 
sort of change something from being just this lump of wood into a piece of furniture. It's just great. All I need to do now is sand it down, put, an, put a coat of oil on it, and uh, then we're done. This is looking good, I'm happy with this. I started with about 60 grit sandpaper, worked at 60, 80, 120, and then 240 just to uh, smooth it off. It feels beautiful, it's like almost glassy. So uh, I'm just gonna tidy everything up and then put some oil on. Grain starting to come up here, it's starting to look pretty nice. Been jumping backwards and forwards between these two projects today because I want to get both things done. I really need this because I just, well, obviously I need post and then I wanted to get to work on the sink as well. So I've just been hopping backwards and forth. But anyway, this now hopefully is, I don't want to say bomb proof because man, New Zealand, the weather here is crazy, eh? Like the amount of wind we get on the West Coast. So when you get a big storm, it just gusts and it's so hard, it's so heavy. And uh, it was obviously strong enough to lift this up and just tear the thing off. But this time I've added a couple of two by twos on here just to give it extra weight. So that's pretty heavy now. That, I'm pretty sure the wind can't lift that. And it'll also cut down on the amount of wind even getting into that letterbox. So let's see what happens. I feel like it's bomb proof, man, but it's pretty full on here. We'll see. so still this morning it's been windy windy's not even the word to describe it there's been like a howling gale that's been blowing for the past three days and now this storm's gone there's not a breath of wind it's quite hard to put into words but there's something that i really like about this where nature is right in the kind of forefront of your mind it's very relevant if you're in a city and you're surrounded by man-made objects you're insulated from nature it hardly seems to exist and then when you, when you experience the kind of the force of nature, I mean, look, I was sitting there in the bus and the bus is rocking and all I could think is, is thank God I'm not, you know, out on a boat in the ocean. It, I just can't think of anything worse. And then you feel very grateful. You feel very grateful just to be warm and dry and tucked away out, out of the way of the storm. I think I'm going to leave it there for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Check back next week when I'll be making potentially a bed.